This is Personal Injury Court. Good day, everyone. This is the matter of Holloway versus Teams. Ms. Holloway, it's my understanding that you and your dog, Prince, sustained injuries while you were at Ms. Teams' doggy spa. You're asking this court to award you $35,000 for past medical expenses, $10,000 for your future medical expenses, $4,000 for your dog Prince's medical expenses, $150,000 for pain and suffering for a total award of $199,000. Is that true? Absolutely, Your Honor. And Ms. Teams, you believe if Ms. Holloway was paying attention, she would have never fallen at your spa if she was doing what she was supposed to do, and her dog would not have been injured. True? That is totally correct. Well, let's get into the legal sauce. How did you come to the uh, doggy spa this day? I went to the dog spa. I dropped Prince off in the morning. I had some errands to run, and so he loves to go to the dog spa, and the only the best for my little Prince. Isn't he precious? He really is precious. Well, uh, almost I, as cute as my Morky. Oh. <laughs> and then I was going to come back later in the afternoon. So, Miss Teams, tell me about your dog spa. What happens there? Well, I opened Teams Dog Spa about four years ago because I love dogs. And what better way to make a living than work with animals since you love them? I've had them since I was a child. Um, our motto at Teams is Teams Dog Spa because your dog is part of our team. But That's a good little hook. What kind of services do you offer? We are a high-end spa. We offer doggy massages. We offer a puppy nail salon. You actually have someone who massages yes, we the do, dog? Yes, sir. We have hair do's and shampoos, and we pamper your pets. <laughs> There's a big demand for our services, and you know, people will pay a lot of money for their fur babies, but so to these high-end spas are big business. Yes, but. Honestly, to me, but you need to take care not, of the premises, Your Honor. Uh, Your Honor, to me, it is more about the animals. We love animals at Teams. Everyone there. Your Honor, is, you want the animals to have a good experience, right? Yes, and seeing their owners' faces too when they come out of the spa and they 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 pick up their dogs. It, there's nothing like seeing how they're you know they're clean, they're fresh. You yes, can tell that they love them. It's and a beautiful thing. We're yeah, it is a beautiful thing. So Miss Holloway, tell me how this happened. Your Honor, I came back after running my errands and I came to pick up Prince and he did look very sweet and he smelled wonderful too. But I went to pay and then that little nitwit employee at the front she desk. Is, I hired yes, only she the is. best. I'm oh, sorry. please. Ladies, she should have helped me. Address me and, and let's Your not Honor, call I'm folks sorry. names, okay? I, I'm so sorry, Your Honor, but this law. has been a horrible experience. Yes, ma'am. I know for you've us. been through a lot. Look at poor Prince. Look at that broken leg. So, what happened? Well, Your Honor, I, I paid, and then that girl, I won't call her a nitwit, told me Your Honor. to walk down the hall that because of all the remodeling going on at the spa, she said that there was a different exit. So she said, go down the hall, make a right, and that the exit door was a few feet past that. Okay. So I had little Prince, my precious baby, in my arms. Like that? Like you're holding exactly Prince Exactly like that, Your okay. Honor. And so I went down the hall, I made the right, and that's when it happened. My, I slipped on dog urine. My feet oh, flew there was out no from urine under there. me. I'm sorry. There it was, was no awful. Urine. Your Honor, I was holding Prince on the right, so I tried to swerve to my left. So I put my hand out to break my fall, and that's when I heard the pop. My arm broke. I broke my you heard arm in your two arm places. Snap? You yes. heard it snap. Your Honor, it was terrible. It was all mangled and twisted. What happens to Prince? I rolled on top of Prince and I broke his little leg. And I got to tell you, it was horrible. Well, our, our pets, our dogs, I'm no, a dog guy, Your they're Honor, our children. I broke his leg by falling on him because I slipped on urine. There and was then, no urine. And then there was when none. I looked, excuse me. You are just and then when I looked down. Address me, ladies, please. When I looked down at my arm, Your Honor, 
Prince came over and he was licking me and he limped over to me with his broken leg. So he's got a broken leg and he comes and he to take care of mama. And he came over and he was licking me and Dogs then I saw great. my arm and it just looked horrible. It was all twisted and mangled and I fainted. I passed out dead away in pee. There was no so, P. How do you know there was no P, Miss Teen? This is totally not our fault. We run a high-end dog spa, as I've explained. Well, dogs we, pee on the floor at dog spas, right? Exactly. And clients know that dogs pee on the floor at dog spas, but we have procedures in place. We have stations throughout the spa. We have procedures that everyone is taught. If there's an accident, we clean it up immediately. Okay. And we also have uh, wee wee pads that we put on our our dogs that are known to be Your Honor, there was Because we pee. want to prevent there accidents. There was pee on like the this. floor. I didn't Ms. pee. Ms. Holloway. Same rules have to apply. I, I can't know, Your Honor, but well, she's you're not doing it with you are doing she it with is, ladies. You know I already look mean. I don't want to be mean. You okay. got to address me. I'm sorry, Your Honor. All right, thank you, thank you. Okay, now how does pee get cleaned up? Do you have some employee that's devoted yes. to it? How do you do it? We have stations throughout. We have rags. We have bins to put everything in. Then we take that out because we really don't want any urine smells in the salon. One it'll encourage dogs to pee again. Yes, but two, it's just unacceptable for a, a, a high-end salon. And the, the whole point is that if Miss Holloway had been paying attention, you see how she carries her dog everywhere. Isn't that, isn't that the way you're supposed to carry it, though? I no. slipped on no. Miss Holloway, we but gotta have runner. rules here. He, no, he, no, 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 I'm louder. We gotta have rules here, and I can get louder. Miss Holloway. You gotta talk to me. I know this is important to you. But if you scream at Miss Teams, I'm trying to hear what she has to say. I can't get the but right she's result. Not telling You're you the talking truth. while I'm talking. I am telling the Ms. truth. Miss Teams. Nope. Order in this court. So you've got these stations that are designed to allow you to clean the spots. Correct. Okay. Uh, this is totally not our fault. When we uh, release our dogs after they've been at the salon, they're always on a leash. One of the reasons I think this happened is she was carrying him with his leash dragging behind and she probably got tangled in that. Who knows? But it's not our fault that she fell. So do you have doubts as to whether she slipped in some uh, dog urine? Yes, I do. I really do. You think really she do. tripped over her own leash? I think there are many reasons. She I was wearing did not high trip heels. over a leash. She was this carrying is ridiculous. I want to understand how this happened. But there Ms. was Holloway. a huge puddle of pee. Ms. Holloway, you that submitted... That could have been print. Ladies, we are going to wrestle all day if you do this. We're going to wrestle all day. I'm sorry. You no, must no. talk to me. Ms. Holloway, you submitted a diagram to this court. We put it up on the monitor here. I want you to go over and explain how this happened. Certainly, Your Honor. I'd be more than happy to. Excuse me, young man. Could you please hold my babe? Sure. Just, you got to watch his leg now. It's all broken. She is trying to get your no, sympathy vote. No, please be careful. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. What a nice young man. <laughs> this is the front entrance of the spa. So I came in the front entrance. This is where all the little doggies are. And so I walked in. This is the desk. I got my little baby, and he did. He looked so cute. <laughs> so we walked. As soon as I got to the corner, I made the right, and that is when my feet flew out from under me. I slipped on a huge puddle of dog there pee. There was no urine oh, there. Oh, I slipped on it. If there was Your urine, Honor, it was when because I he came... peed. He was upset she fell on him. Now, Miss Holloway, you submitted the x-ray of Prince's leg. Yes. So this is Prince's leg here. That's a nasty break. Yes, it is. Because she fell on him. Well, because I slipped on pee. No, because you weren't paying attention. Talk to me, lady. Please. Talk that to me. Spot, Your Honor, that spot is a dangerous spot. You can go back to the podium, Miss Holloway. Thank, Thank you, you, Your Honor. Look at that break. She it's is awful. She is playing so on your teams, sympathy. So, Miss Teams, both Prince and Miss Holloway had pretty bad breaks. That's not supposed to happen, right? <laughs> Correct. You believe she tripped on her own leash or something other than dog urine? Yes. 
What do you expect a dog owner to do when they have their Look, dog in their hands at your spa? What are they supposed to do? First of all, I do not expect to have them in their hands. Now, Ms. Holloway, Ms. Ms. Teams has a point here. It seems to me, just thinking right at this moment, yes, your that Honor. if Prince had been on a leash, then maybe you would have seen the puddle. No, I would not. Yes, exactly. Tell me why. Well, I was carrying him because I didn't want him to get dirty yet. He would not have and gotten that dirty in our And has been shop. a problem in the past. My friend, Sean takes his pug to the dog spa every week. Okay. Every I week. have a sworn statement from Sean. Yes, ma'am, you have submitted that to the court. And this is a statement under oath, so it has legal impact. It reads, I take my dog, Ronnie, to the spa for his treatments. Since we have used the new exit, Ronnie has tried to lift his leg at the last corner every time. I have to tug on his leash to get him to wait till we are outside. I don't know what is so attractive about that corner, but it calls to him like a fire hydrant. I'm not surprised that London fell in a puddle of dog pee at that exact spot. You see that, Miss Teen? He has never told me that. And you know what? If I had known that we could have brought affidavits, I would have been able to bring 20 affidavits saying how clean our spa is. We run a very clean salon. Let, let me give you a legal lesson about that. Anytime you intend to go to court, bring everything that you can that you think will help you because the judge will decide what the judge is going to consider. You don't want to be in this situation, but you're here today and I've got to base my decision on what you put before me. Now, Miss Holloway, tell me about your injuries. How, how have you been? Your Honor, it, it's been pretty bad. It's been very rough. I had two broken bones in my forearm. I have a plate and some screws. Little Prince has got a pretty bad break. Look at my arm. I, I know I look really good for my age, but I am an elderly woman, and this is gonna ruin my life. You know what happens when older people break their Your limbs. Honor, she talks about this ruining her life. This could ruin my business over something that is not my fault. I understand how you see it, that she fell on her own dog. Uh, when it happened, we immediately called 911. We got care for her, we got care for Prince, and I even took one of the groomers and put them in the ambulance because that I knew with the all least the rules that I wouldn't be able to find out what was oh, happening. My goodness. I was concerned and yes, I called that groomer. I can all see your the face day. that you're concerned. You know, Wait, can you see that, Miss Holloway, that she's concerned about you and your dog? Yes, but if she would just take responsibility, Your Honor. But it's I not did my not fault. slip on a leash. It really isn't. Uh, I slipped into a big puddle of dog that urine. She should have seen if large. there was a puddle. That's Ladies. how it can't No, I'm Ladies. sorry. It was negligent. Ladies, it was I... not. Sorry. Ladies, I think I've heard enough. I'm ready to render my decision. In every personal injury case, the plaintiff, you, Miss Holloway, have to prove three things. You've got to prove that Miss Teams or her employees were wrong, that they did something wrong, and that wrong caused yours and Prince's injuries. You are asking this court to award you $199,000. This is obviously a huge burden for you. You don't believe this is your fault because you think they should have cleaned up the urine that you fell in. Yes, sir. Miss Teams, you, you believe that you all had systems in place where there should not have been urine there. You actually have doubts as to why Miss Holloway fell. Correct. You believe had she had her dog on the leash and on the floor, like most people should, according to you, that this never would have happened because she wouldn't have tripped over her own leash. The realities here, though, dogs pee, this is a dog spa, you gotta clean it up. When you're walking around, you gotta pay attention. There's a whole lot of responsibility to go around. The law, though, in a premises liability case like this, that is, someone is hurt on someone else's premises, it focuses on what the owner knew. One of the most important pieces of evidence is the affidavit that stated that Ronnie, the dog, came around the corner and attempted to urinate in this very spot. That is what creates notice for you, Miss Teams. 
What it indicated to me as I evaluate the evidence is that dogs have been peeing on this spot. That's why Ronnie stopped. And if dogs are peeing on this spot, it's because they smell the urine. And if the urine smell is there, that means you probably did not clean it properly. Now, I know that litigation can be a dog-eat-dog -dog experience, okay? <laughs> But it is very simple. If you don't clean it properly and a dog pees there, Miss Halloway walks around the corner and slips. She and her dog are injured. It is your fault. But That's how I find thank for you. a total award of $199,000 for you. That is my Hallelujah. final verdict, and this matter is adjourned. <laughs> Our attorneys across America just viewed this case for the first time. Let's hear what Leonard Lundy has to say. The defendant had a duty to keep the dog spot premises safe from any known hazards. She was aware that the dogs would relieve themselves in the corner where the plaintiff fell. This knowledge of the hazard placed a duty upon her to take some protective measures to ensure the safety of her customers, such as putting a non-slip mat or puppy pads to prevent puddling. Get it, Quinn. Oh, thank you, Your Honor.